shall be soon starting the tattva shuddhi purifying the elements and balancing the equilibrium this is not just a course but for me i would like this to be the beginning of a movement a movement where in we show that many drops indeed do make an ocean we are not even at the level of a drop we are perhaps much much smaller than a drop but if we come together from different parts of the world we will be able to make a difference on the dimension of duality we are all different you are in america you are in england you are in india you are in different parts of the world but we all are connected and we have some at some point of time lost this connectivity tattva shuddhi purifying the elements is a very simple method by which not only can we have purification of our internal personality removing the dross but we can also use this as a means of connecting with the entire cosmos because the five elements prithvi jala agni vayu and akash these elements are principles and these principles manifest and they intermingle depending on the permutations and combinations this intermingling manifests as different types of creation and connect in addition to this in this inert creation so to say there is the spark of divine which is infused doing so there is life which is created we all know that if we are preparing a column or a building and if we use substandard concrete what will happen if we use substandard concrete the building is going to collapse or is going to have more structural damage it might not collapse all the together but it will have structural damage weakness problems this is also a building this building is built of these five building blocks depending on the quality of the building blocks the entire structure manifests either as robust strong vital glowing radiant or as weak decrepit stumble stumbling and in need of help in case of concrete we really can't do much once the building is built job done you can't undo it but in humans we have the scope of continually refining ourselves the cell which is over here is not the cell which i was born with every day the cell changes we are it appears to be the same but there is so much of 
transformation which is taking place. Now, when we are transforming this and we are bringing a new quality, a new cell over there, we can improve the quality of this cell. When we infuse strength, nourishment into these five building blocks, that is the importance of Tattva Shuddhi, purifying the elements. And I have combined this intensely personal sadhana with the sadhana of purifying the elements outside. Remember, what is outside is inside. Yatha pinde, tatha brahmande. What is there in the microcosmos is also there in the macrocosmos because the five building blocks are the same. So, in addition to the internal practice of Tattva Shuddhi, we will be combining it with the practice of Avan. And together, this practice can be a very, very powerful practice, not only to purify ourselves inside, but also to make a change in the environment around us. That is something which is, I agree, uh, I believe everybody agrees, a crying need of the times. Is there somebody or anybody who feels that taking care of the environment is not a priority? Who agree with me that taking care of the environment is in fact a very high priority. Nobody agrees? We could well, I, almost everybody will agree. Yeah, but then I'm not hearing anybody because most of you have <laughs> your videos off. So I can't even see if you are nodding. Huh? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree, Swami. <laughs> I agree too. We were muted. So I, I had, uh, I had, uh, I had un uh, undone that uh, muting quite some time ago, but oh, you oh. never looked at it. <laughs> you saw my thumbs up, right? Yes, I did. I did. So, Swamiji, so, all, 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 all of us agree, na? All yes, us. yes. So uh, <laughs> this is something what I hope we can do. N now that we have been practicing mantra and also Havan for some time, I think we are now ready to go to the next step that we all can practice this. And now I am adding this principle of Tattva Shuddhi. The practices are quite simple, but the principles need to be understood properly. And if we can do this and we just do once a week, all of us do this once a week, the havan can be done once a week. And beyond that, if we have a possibility, we can do more. But then we will make a change in our environment. The vibrations of the place improve. The sattvita comes up. The quality of life comes up. As I was discussing with somebody, that life is limited, no doubt. But how can we make the best of it? That is what is very important. And what is a scientific method to make the best of it? Please remember that science means following something in a systematic, logical and progressive manner. That is what we will be doing. I think somebody had raised a hand to ask something. Me, Swamiji, Namo yes. Narayana. Mm -hmm. Swamiji, is this uh, when we do this practice of, of uh, Bhuta Shuddhi or what you're calling it, the five elements, do we need to bring something like a diya and water or something to represent these? No, no, we don't need anything because they are all, we, we, we are the representative of all of that. Everything around us is a representative of that. We have to okay. connect to the subtle principles because you see, when we speak of earth, 
only the physical earth does not represent the principal earth or water does not represent the uh, principle of jala fire the fire in the ga uh, um, in the fireplace is not the only fire that we speak of you know these are principles and these principles are present everywhere we have to connect to them and go deeper and deeper and deeper so that is what we should be doing and uh, then we can actually study this and if all of you or as many of you feel interested we can actually design a study we can design a questionnaire and some specific parameters which we can measure which will tell us the quality of the environment around us and the quality of the environment within us yes shilpa that's a great idea to be able to measure practically that's really good we need to do that yes swamiji um, swamiji can Thank you, you. Can you also tell us about this vadhyay on tatva bodh? Like, how does it align with tatva shuddhi? You see, tatva shuddhi and tatva bodh. Tatva is the principles, the elements. Shuddhi is purification, purifying the elements. And tatva bodh, bodh means understanding, knowing. So, uh, both are complementary. on one hand we understand the philosophical ramifications and their practical aspects and on the other hand we learn how we can do these things in our day to day life very simply very easily but in a very profound manner so they are like very complementary to each other and that is the reason why uh, i use this and as i have been mentioning before that we did the swadhyay of maharshi patanjali chapter 1 now yes. to understand yoga deeper many times in, in, in the first chapter of uh, four chapters of freedom i really like that uh, phrase you know there are four chapters of freedom swami ji used to say in his commentary he has mentioned the four chapters of freedom मुक्ति के चार सोपान पहले सोपान में हमने योग के बारे में थोड़ा सा समझा है वी हैव ट्राइड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट योगा बट नो वेर नो वेर हैज ही मैं आसनास नो वेर हैज ही मैं प्राणायाम नो वेर हैज ही मैं एनी ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिस विच वी टूडे कंसिडर एज योगा those are small tools but if you don't get the entire picture just by saying that uh, the test tube and the reagent which we use in a chemistry lab is science and we keep on taking the test tube and the reagent test tube and the reagent we are not really helping ourselves chemistry forget science chemistry is much more expansive than just the test tube and the reagent in the same way yoga is much more expansive than just asan pranayam so what is the significance of that what is the application that is what we saw in the first chapter now as we go deeper then we need to understand this because once you understand this then the next step the second sopan will become clearer and it will have an impact within because remember swadhyay is not intellectual studies it is trying to understand what it means to me its relevance to me its significance to me my understanding of the situation and I, of course we have to keep on refining that understanding that is important so that is the reason why first swadhyay of yukpat patanjali then tatva bodh and along with tatva bodh i am bringing the practice of tatva shuddhi and havan and if all of you agree agar aap sab log 
साथ देते हैं तो हम इसको एक आंदोलन के रूप में परिवर्तित कर सकते हैं आंदोलन केवल नारेबाजी के साथ नहीं होता है आंदोलन बहुत चुपचाप साइलेंट होता है मेनी 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 इयर्स आई गो इन द नाइंटीज आई थिंक स्वामी निरंजन आनंद जी ही हैड कम टू मुंबई एंड ही वॉज गिविंग एन इंटरव्यू विथ आई थिंक इट वॉज टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया न्यूज पेपर एंड वाई स्पीकिंग स्वामी जी वॉज स्पीकिंग ऑफ वेरियस टॉपिक्स एंड देन ही सेड दैट वी आर अ साइलेंट रिवोल्यूशन बट देन द रिपोर्टर सेड स्वामी जी इफ यू डोंट स्पीक अबाउट इट हाउ विल पीपल नो एंड यू नो वॉट स्वामी जी सेड ही सेड that if we make too much noise about it then we will become a silenced revolution not a silent revolution this revolution is something which is happening within and when it happens within and it spreads then that impact is very powerful and what we need to do as a part of the dedication to gurudev is to further the silent revolution as taught to us by the masters and that silent revolution happens in each and every one of us har ek ke andar mein wo hota hai wo parivartan hota hai aur jab wo parivartan hota hai tab jeevan mein bhi parivartan hota hai hamare samajh mein bhi parivartan hota hai hamare kriyaon mein bhi parivartan hota hai pure अस्तित्व में परिवर्तन हो जाता है और हम लोगों को इस परिवर्तन को एक दिशा देनी है ताकि हम हम सुधरे हमारा जीवन सुधरे लेकिन हमारी अगली पीढ़ी और उसकी अगली पीढ़ी भी इस परिवर्तन से अपने जीवन में कुछ अच्छा ले आए व्हाट वी रिसीव फ्रॉम आवर पेरेंट्स एंड ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स just outside forget inside was much more beautiful pristine pure excellent and what is it that we are handing to the next generation we are not handing something very nice but if we need to make a change then we need to make a change within ourselves then around ourselves then it will go beyond ourselves and that is beyond our individual capacity there we need to come together as a group as a movement that is what we need to do and that those are the seeds which are being sown in the form of this course this course is just and you excuse the word excuse to initiate that revolution because we need some excuse some trigger point and then everything comes up let this be that initiation point from where there is a change in our life i think that is the most important thing in our life and just namo namo